these are resin diamonds that we use to refinish marble, travertine, and terrazzo. Um, these are the resin diamonds, and they basically come in, in a variety of grits. In other words, we might use the 60 grit first, followed by a 120 grit, and then go on up higher to a 220, 400, 800, and then maybe finish at a 1500 grit. Now in some circumstances we use what are called metal diamonds. And these metal diamonds are very, they do a lot of damage to the floor. And that's, of course, it's a controlled damage and it's what we want. Um, the, these are segments different than these resins. These are segment diamonds. These are 50 grit. And these 50 grit we would start out with to get deep discolorations or scratches out. And then we would go to follow those with 100 grit. These are 100 grit segments. And you can see on the edges and those big ridges those are where the floor is cut and then we would we would go let me get this other planetary turned over you see the 200 grit and these are 200 grit diamonds and you can see here where we pulled a little bit of this slurry these, these just haven't been cleaned off you can see the black mastic in another threshold of a room adjacent where it's black and this is what the customer Jessica started with when she had to remove this. Good morning from Fabric and Tile Masters. This is a terrazzo project that you can see this is a sample that we did to see what was underneath and we're hoping we can make the whole room look close to that. The young lady that did this work stripped this herself using a, her own soy braze stripper, which is pretty remarkable because the soy braze stripper works great, but it's difficult to recover. And this is some of the remnants, but it looked a lot worse than this. The parquet was glued down at some point, and I guess they just wrote off the terrazzo um, and this is what we've got. Those are the 50 grit metals. So. Here are the before and afters. You can see this is the before and along the same wall by the fireplace. Here's the after. This is a before and you can see all the residue. And then laying along the same wall, here is the after. It's a pretty remarkable difference. And